There have been different reports of the types of treatment received in certain hospitals, especially from those that are government hospitals. And from what we have been hearing, there is some majority that are not happy about the way certain nurses relate to them. And sometimes it seems like the sick people are enemies to the hospital. In the time past, there have even been videos that showed very poor treatment that some nurses and doctors were giving out to patients. Because of this, those who were more good with income and the richer were veering towards the private hospitals. Most people realized that some of the treatments they deserved could only be received in certain private hospitals and clinics. Today, when we look at the treatment received in the hospitals and in the clinics around us, we get to see that there are some hospitals that really take very good care of the patients, not only with the way they administer the drugs and give them the type of operations they need but also even in the way they speak to them the way they carry them about and the way they comfort them from the pain they are feeling but there are some hospitals and clinics where it looks like you are better off dead than being there when you enter such a clinic or hospital even the way you are welcomed will make you feel like it will be better if you had just died elsewhere it becomes as if you are bringing a nuisance your presence is like a nuisance to them and they just want to hurry up and do off with you and if you are not fortunate and your case is one of these ugly cases where maybe there's something rotten on your body or there's some form of blood gushing out you may be in for a very horrific nightmare there are some hospitals and clinics where they even disrespect the elderly and you see nurses screaming on top of their voices at patients as if they are talking to children or their little ones but what gives them this sense of power and authority to act that way is it a particular way they are trained to treat people in the hospitals or is it part of their normal makeup to have that very repulsive attitude towards some patients there are also those who report of some people receiving care that is unfair because of certain bribes and certain favors that have been given to some nurses and doctors for example there are some hospitals where there's a queue because of the number of people and everyone has to wait for his turn but they would be shocked to see somebody come at the last and yet be treated first because he was able to grease the palms of one or two doctors or nurses why is this so are there no serious looks at how these things could really affect the general public why would someone who's almost nearing his deathbed be left to attend to another person who has more money it is true that money speaks in most cases but should we allow money to speak and allow people to die the treatment in some of our hospitals frankly speaking is very poor it looks as if these people don't even plan on working at their attitude and the way they go about their stuff there have been some also reports or some reports also of negligence which is also part of the very poor treatment that people receive in such hospitals 
in the past we have even heard stories of people who left certain instruments in the bodies of some patients that were operated upon so that after the operation they were even worse off than when they came because there was some gadget or some some scissors or something inside of them what could make a person forget that he would leave his working instrument inside the human body of somebody who has come there to be made better is it one of those things where lives really don't matter anymore to them or is this just a money making game that people come into these hospitals just to make money so they don't really care about how people are doing what sort of love are we giving to the patients and how are we helping ourselves by treating them those way there are some people who don't even think hospitals are worth it because of the experiences they've had in these hospitals they refuse to even go to hospitals when the need arises i know some friends who refuse to go to hospitals after a while and till today they have never stepped in one because of the harsh treatment they received they self-medicate and they do their best to get what they need from pharmacies and when the case is very severe where they have to go to the hospitals they do their best not to go to trying to get first aid from others until it is at that point where it is too bad before they go to the hospitals should it be so should a person be afraid to go to the same place where he is going to get his healing why should a person shy away from the same place where his solution is supposed to be the treatment received in our hospitals if they are checked properly could change a lot for the nation there are those people who can actually have time to monitor the nurses and the doctors and see how they are going about their general work they could be spoken to they could be warned and in worst cases they could be suspended we have to find a way to get these people these nurses and doctors and sometimes even the security officers in those places to understand that human lives are what is being dealt with in the hospitals and it's not something to play with there are some people who don't even handle the food to give to the patient properly if for example a patient is in a hospital and the patient doesn't have a family or friend to buy food for him and he has to receive food from the nurse sometimes these nurses just handle the food anyhow like they can leave it somewhere without even caring about if flies get to touch them no matter how exposed they are and meanwhile i am wondering to myself are these not the same people who are here to save lives we have seen some people who don't even care about the way they administer the drugs into the patients there have also been reports of some people who insect the strangers into these patients very painfully there are some who just do things like they ha- want to hurry up and go and we just don't understand why it is so a young man once told me he went to a certain hospital and after being admitted he realized that he had to spend the night there because he was on drip and so he decided to though he didn't want to actually spend the night there now what happened was that because he was on a drip and he was on the bed and he was weak at that time his windows were open and because of his condition he was feeling very cold so he wanted to close the windows but because he was so weak he called the permission of one of the nurses and asked that the windows be closed for him the nurse who got offended that this was the reason why she was called started yelling at him so because the guy didn't want to turn this into another issue he got up himself with the drape on his hand and closed the window 
and later when the nurse came back and saw that the window was closed and saw that the drip on him was not properly fixed like it was she was complaining that he was playing around with the treatment this patient who then got offended decided to give his vision his 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 views about her her so-called good treatment and her so-called nurse work which she was doing the two started arguing and before we could know the nurse was insulting him blatantly laughing at him that he was the one who was sick and even laughing at his disease can you imagine the extent to which this nurse went so much so that this guy told me he had to leave the hospital because he felt the nurse was possibly going to do something evil to him so even though he had not finished his treatment he took the drip in one hand and walked out of the hospital with it because he could not remove it himself this is very serious and we saw pictures and images of this and we were shocked we were very horrified we have to speak to some of these nurses and doctors to find more patience and actually more understanding when treating such people it could even be that the patient is the one who's at fault but you should always remember that because the patient is not in their right state even his ways his countenance could be offensive to you because this is somebody who is not feeling well someone who's not feeling well can even get offended quickly someone who's not feeling well can easily feel unhappy about certain stuff it is normal for this to be so because he is not well we have to get this into our heads especially some of these female nurses i'm not saying the male nurses are exempt but most times these reports come from the female ones it's like there are these ladies who who are really into showing off how hard they are and how they don't really care what happens to you they sometimes even point the fact out to you that you are the one who needs their help and they are not the ones who need your help but then it's it, it's funny because at the end of the day you are being paid so even though the person the patient needs your help you yourself needs the patient's money but they make it to look like because the patient is the one whose help is needed urgently they have to become loyal and submissive to these nurses they treat them worse than slaves sometimes and if you see some of the things that go on in our hospitals you'll be very discouraged i'm even sure for those who are listening right now most of you have not even been going to these hospitals anymore and i would not be surprised at all if you actually don't go there are those who also wish they could go to these private hospitals but because sometimes these private hospitals are much higher in price and in the services they render it is hard for people to go to them but you you cannot blame these private hospitals because they they actually give the type of services that people need so at that price you should expect yeah you should you should expect it to be that high at, at such quality services you should expect it to be high and then also you should look at these hospitals that have been set up for gain only there are some hospitals that are being set up only for money they don't really care about people you know how people see these hospitals as a business there are some hospitals they just make them for making money so to them as long as you come there you are coming just to give them money though their service is to help you and make you move forward they really don't put in that extra work that extra cushion of comfort that extra love they just don't see it at all we have to be careful as a nation if we continue to let some of these things pass by a time will come where they will be too dangerous and it will be hard to stop them because it will be like a normal thing to us it will be too normal it will just look at the like oh it's normal let's just allow it but it will be killing us thank you for listening
You can share your treatment received in any of the hospital, whether it was pleasant or not, or unpleasant, in the comments below. And if it was unpleasant, just pray for them that there will be a change and let the authorities do what they can do. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.